One of my biggest grievances dealing with people who have vested interest in things because they've made financial investments or because they're old, which is usually the same thing, is that they tend to have very limited thinking. And I'm not, I don't intend that to be an ageist response. It's just, that's the nature of reality. If you have been around for 60 years collecting canvases, and the word canvas means something like what I now have on the floor, fox on snow. And somebody comes along with something that does not match your preconceived notion of reality, you're probably gonna balk because it undermines your previous investment. But maybe there might be a reason for that. So what would be the purpose of a stretcher bar? The purpose of a stretcher bar is to prevent the canvas from deforming. But then I started thinking about the Gardner heist. Somebody rolled through the Isabella Gardner Museum with a knife and started cutting stuff out of the frames, which means they left the stretcher bars behind. So that's kind of when I began to realize that stretcher bars are actually kind of optional. So I made a little ex I made a little um, experiment. Um, this is a canvas pillow. I know because I bought the canvas. This is red canvas, duck canvas that I bought at 10 ounce weight, $7 a yard at Joanne Fabric. I mean, nobody says it has to be $300 rolls of Belgian linen. Come on now. If you know fabric because you sew, $7 a chili. Stop playing. And in my observation, the deformation of acrylic on canvas in the absence of a stretcher bar is minimal at best. This seems to be doing just fine. At least it passes the test for acrylic on canvas. And what about oil? Got one right here. Um, this is oil on canvas, fiber fill, lacking stretcher bars. Deformation is minor at best. As long as you put in a synthetic filler inside, like a polyester fiber fill, so that you don't have to worry about it rotting on the inside. Um, this is an oil painting. I've already made a video of it. It's just an oil painting that lacks stretcher bars. It seems to be doing just fine, actually. My sewing doesn't seem to be doing just fine. So how do you how do you mount or show this? Well, that's a silly question if you've ever had a mom. You put it in a chair that you're not allowed to sit in. Very simple. This gets its own chair. And then you put the chair in a feng shui location of the house. The only time you run into trouble is when you're dealing with oil pastel on canvas. Which brings me to Kehinda Wiley. Kehinda Wiley, I don't believe his paintings are made with oil. I remember the smell, and it smells like oil pastel. He needs stretcher bars. Because I have an oil pastel right here. Oh yeah, prime the canvas and everything. You can get the canvas primer at um, Lowe's. The only thing that has experienced any form of actual degradation or deformation over time has been oil pastel in the absence of stretcher bars. I have experimented. He's the only one who cannot get away with it. So then, well, now you know. Does that mean that you you have to give up using oil pastel? Definitely not. Because that's what most of the uh, chunky books are. Chunky books. The chunky books are oil pastel. Oil pastel on paper. I sent one over to the Barnes Museum, but the Windsors stole it. 